Hey guys, it's Dr. Cole. What do you think frustrates thyroid patients more than any other thing? The number one thing that I hear is the inability to lose weight. And not just the inability to lose weight, but a lot of these gals will tell me that if they look at food the wrong way, they gain weight. I just had a patient, a new patient in yesterday, who told me that she went to her thyroid doctor because no matter how much she exercised, no matter how little she ate, she was unable to lose even an ounce. What do you think the doctor's advice was? You, you guessed it. Eat less, exercise more. Yikes, this person was on a calorie deprivation diet, exercising one hour a day, and the doctor is telling her to eat less and to exercise more. What that doctor doesn't understand is that patient has a, has a hormone problem, but different than the type of hormone problem that that doctor understands, probably than the patient understands too. Listen, have you, how many of you have heard of type 2 diabetics being referred to as insulin resistant? It's a common phrase, we hear it all the time. What that means is this, that that type 2 diabetic, especially in the beginning, they don't lack insulin, which helps lower their sugar numbers. They actually have too much insulin when we test them. That just means the body is recognizing the sugar levels are going up. They're pumping out more insulin trying to get those numbers down, but the cells of the body are not hearing the message. That's the problem. It's called insulin resistance. Well, guess what? There's a hormone called leptin. It's the major fat-burning hormone in your body. And what we have found is when we test people who are overweight, they have too much leptin. Well, how can that be? It's the same thing as that diabetic. The person gains weight, the body's pumping out leptin to try to reduce that weight, but the cells are not hearing the signal. It's called leptin resistance. It's in epidemic numbers in our thyroid patients and even in the general population, but definitely in our thyroid patients. So what do we do then? If we have a cell that is the primary problem, because understand, this is not a hormone deficiency issue. Your body has all the leptin that it needs. It has all the thyroid hormones that it needs. Some of you are taking thyroid hormones, and you're still not able to lose weight because thyroid is another fat-burning hormone. It becomes a thyroid hormone resistance problem, too. So if we're not lacking hormones, what, what do we have to do to fix the problem? We've got to get down to the cell level of the body. That's where the problem lies. And in particular, with that cell, it becomes damaged because it's chronically inflamed. I talk about this in my workshops. The three major things that cause cellular inflammation and create that barrier or that resistance to these hormones is too many bad fats in your diet, too much sugar in your diet, and the big one is our exposure to too many toxins. And then we become, our cells become damaged, they become inflamed, they become, un, they become unable to take these hormones in. They're there in abundance, but they're just not working. The solution is this, you have to fix the cell. That's the mantra that we utilize in my clinic every single day. That's where the disease resides. That's how you fix the problem. If you ignore that, the condition will, con will continue for forever. That's where the frustration lies. You have to fix the cell. Listen, it can be complicated for a lot of patients, especially as they get sick. There are multifaceted things that need to be addressed. But one thing that you can do for yourself right off the bat is get yourself on an anti-inflammatory diet. Folks, listen, there are inflammatory foods and there are anti-inflammatory foods. Basically what we say is God food, man food, right? The stuff God gave us from the beginning, these are your anti-inflammatory foods. The stuff that man gives us made in the laboratory, pre-packaged type stuff, full of bad chemicals and other things that we should never be putting in our body, these things promote inflammation. So God food, man food, one diet that you can do that I've found has been particularly helpful for our patients would be something like the paleo diet. We use something a little bit different. We try to get a little bit more particular because none of us look the same on the outside. We're not the same on the inside. So the paleo diet may not be the perfect diet for you, but it's a place to start because it emphasizes natural foods versus unnatural foods. I hope this helps. If you're interested, click like, share this stuff. We'll produce more of this. In fact, I'm going to do more of this stuff. Appreciate your time. God bless. Bye.